steps up the field, spins, and goes back to the inside. Johnson was on under pressure, and I think that that punt was deflected by Jermaine Phillips. He got a hand on it. Yes, he did. And thus, it is a very short punt, seven yards for Johnson. And the Buccaneers are going to wind up with the football at the 31-yard line of the Eagles. See, I think he's right here. Right here. And that, that is a perfect layout for the block, too. You start around, and you don't go for the punter, or you don't go for his foot. You go for a point about... And 11, Cowboys have to get to the 39 for a first down. Carter with time, and the pass is intercepted by Jermaine Phillips. Phillips making just his third NFL start in place of the injured John Lynch. He was a teammate of Quincy Carter at the University of Georgia, Darrell. In fact, he was one of his wide receivers. Well, he, he used to say that he threw the ball to Jermaine Phillips at Georgia, but I, I don't think he wanted to be throwing the ball to him this afternoon. And Jermaine Phillips plays that play great. It's a double move. He does not bite on it at all. Quincy Carter throws it to the spot. Jermaine Phillips breaks across Joey Galloway's face to make the interception. is inside St. Territory. A huge play with 138 left here in the first half. How many times have we seen this? How many times have the Saints... Here comes a blitz. Picked up. Green steps up in the end zone. Picked up! Phillips! Third turnover of the day for the Chiefs. Steven Davis. It's hit hard by Jermaine Phillips. Picked up seven. You've seen a lot the last couple of weeks of the Philadelphia Eagles. You and I did the game to Kansas City as we look at this run by Davis. You did the game out in Denver where their defense was shredded by the Broncos in the first half. You start to size up the NFL. Foster, look at the penetration. Outstanding play by Jermaine Phillips, the safety. Ryan Neese was there and counted eight. Get fired, Chad, it's caught for a first down by Roddy White. He lost the football. It's picked up by Jermaine Phillips. White had the first down and then he fumbled. It's returned by Phillips to the 30 yard line. Watch him here, he catches his third down pass, beats Torrey Cox there, then takes a shot from the safety. Last week, Tampa Bay did not force a turnover against the Ravens, and they said, you know, we have to help our offense out. And in a rivalry game, that's what you look for more than anything else, is big, game-changing hits. And Jermaine Phillips just did it, and the entire team responded to it. Come here, and they want to keep it. Looking again to Bush, and he goes backwards. Jermaine Phillips, and it's for his foot. Those things are tough for a young quarterback. Now third and 13, flips it to Liddell Betts. Betts spins, loses the ball. Buccaneers take over at the 40. As a ball, as, as a ball carrier, when you turn your back to defenders, you better wrap the ball up with both arms because it will pop out. You're going to see the ball right here. And that's Liddell Betts. Now watch, when he comes up, here comes Jermaine Phillips into the play. You've, he's going to lower his head, and he's trying to spin, okay? He's trying to spin away from that. But you've got to cover up that ball upon Con. Anderson with some time, and one that bounces off the pads of Kellen Winslow, intercepted. Jermaine Phillips from strong safety who's had a fine year up over 100 tackles for the first time in his career is in the right place at the right Harrison still in the backfield play action to him Anderson goes up top and that one's intercepted Jermaine Phillips again the legs are still going across the 40 and finally taken out of bounds at the 34 yard line 
Jermaine Phillips has been Derek Anderson's kryptonite in the first half this afternoon. The stats when they get the numbers he gets. And a flea flicker, and Hasselbeck is down behind the 45-yard line by Jermaine Phillips. Alert play by the Tampa Bay defense, and the flea flicker nets a minus 10. Well, here's Jermaine Phillips here. He's going to come. He's up to the line of scrimmage. Nobody's to, nobody to cover, so he's free to come. For the Bucks. On second down, Breeze with a jump pass to Carney and Phillips with a big hit. Once again, the strong safety closing quickly, and Carney is given both emotion. Bolter rolls and throws, and it's almost intercepted. Was he out of bounds? It is intercepted. What a pick by Jeremiah, by Jermaine Phillips. Jermaine Phillips with a great pick. First interception thrown this season by Mark Bolger. And Bolger just with a little sprint out to the right. Jermaine Phillips read that the whole way. Undercuts Isaac Bruce. Hey, is that what Groot's looking for? An interception by the secondary. Good throw from Bolger, too, because you can see here's Jermaine Phillips right there in front of Isaac Bruce. And clearly, Mark must have never saw him because he goes up and gets that ball now. He does come down left foot first, then right foot looked like touchdown before the hand touchdown. Would be too late now to review that thing, but that is one. Covers also. Second down and ten. Rondé Parker on the blitz. He misses in the backfield, but they get him anyway. Nice clean up there by Jermaine Phillips. Times. If they're going to win this game. Play action. Bootleg. Pittman. No place up. And he's going to go for the first down. I believe he got it, but he took a shot. Jermaine Phillips came up and laid the wood. And he's all live at that moment. He did not try to slide. And it's a first down. We talked about it earlier. He slid when it was first down. But he knew it was third and one in the fourth quarter. And there was no sliding in John Kittner. The second half. Taylor, the single setback. And hit by Phillips. No gain on the play. Third down and six. Across the middle for Urban. Urban can't hold on. He took a shot from Jermaine Phillips. And everyone, everyone you talk about, Jermaine Urban's going to come out of, the, out of the slot and run a post pattern right here down the middle of the field. But everyone talk about is Jermaine Phillips, that guy right there, that every week he is knocking people out. They get Most likely Arizona's last shot. So at least tie it up. Going deep. Intercepted. Is he in? They're talking about it. He is in. Intercepted. And it'll stand Jermaine Phillips. His third interception of the season. On the first down, Clint McCordis. Not much. Oh. He lost the ball again. Another fumble. The Bucks recover. Fourth fumble. Lost by the Redskins. Greg White recovers it. Second by Portis, and the Bucks defense is forcing fumbles all over the field. What about that hit by Jermaine Phillips? You know, we referenced the safeties earlier and being a big staple in that defense. Watch him come up and body rock Portis right from behind and knock the ball out. So you see 23 converging in your screen right there. Here's the hit. Bam! Wow. Hits him right from behind. There is so much power and force. In motion, Eric Johnson. Stecker behind Carney. And the Bucks knock him down. Jermaine Phillips. And three more weeks of football. Play action. And the pass is intercepted. Jermaine Phillips, his team leading fourth of the year. First down at the 24. Sean Hill going up the middle. And it's caught by Vernon Davis. And he carries a few defenders, loses the ball, and is picked up by Tampa Bay. The Buccaneers will get it back at the 35-yard line as Barrett Rood recover, recovers the fumble. So the big play and then the turnover, 15 yards, and it's Tampa Bay ball. Well, that's Derek Brooks right there. Jermaine Phillips, the safety, ripped that ball right out. And that's what the Bucs used to do as well as any team. From the 40. 
Ball comes loose. It's picked up by Jermaine Phillips. And Phillips will take it in for a touchdown. Jermaine Phillips is going to get credit for the touchdown on the fumble recovery, but it all starts with Chris Hovan. He made a real big push inside, forced Ryan Grant to stay outside. And again, it's Derek Brooks. He has just had a huge afternoon for this Buccaneers defense. Watch 95. There's Hovan right there against Scott Wells. Push, push, push. Now here comes Ryan Grant to cut inside. Derek Brooks gets his helmet right on the ball, and it's a scoop and score for Jermaine Phillips. The third touchdown out for Jay Cutler. Jay to throw it. Quick pass in and out of the hands of Daniel Graham. Nice defense by Tampa Bay. Tell you that. Early on. Second and 14, the pitch back to D'Angelo Williams, who tries to cut. And it's taken down by Jermaine Phillips. That backfield has been busy stuffing runs already. Under five minutes. DeLome's in trouble. Flags down. Pass is caught across center field and then dropped by Dante Rosario. There was a flag. Yes, here's Jermaine Phillips on the hit, separates Dante Rosario from the ball, and then the strut happens. And they're trying. DeLong throws a wobbler deep for Muhammad. Intercepted! Jermaine Phillips was there to pick off the batted ball. Phillips is still going down the side. Finally shoved out of bounds at midfield. Wallace starts to stumble, but recovers his balance and then has to throw against the grain. And the pass is hauled in, but out of bounds. Jermaine Phillips was there. It was also dropped. It looked like he was going to hold on to it for just a second. John Carlson couldn't. He was out of bounds anyway, so it'll be fourth down. Well, John Carlson, who's been such a nice surprise for them here, really misses an opportunity. Seneca Wallace scrambled out against the blitz. Found an open receiver, and that's just a play you have to make. He's the leading receiver on this. They mark the ball at the 21, and Breeze going to the air, and the pass is caught by Jeremy Shockey, and the Saints tight end will get a first down to the 30-yard line. From the 17, first down, and Drew B's pass intercepted. Jermaine Phillips. In Bucks territory, another first down play action. Flag down as DeLome throws, and is that intercepted? I don't think it hit the ground. Jermaine Phillips had it. It bounced up in the air. Doesn't look, didn't look like it hit the ground, and Phillips comes away with it. Flag down. Watch how close the nose of the ball comes to the ground. Oh. And able to keep it alive, roll on his back, and come up with the interception. That gets you a, a graduate degree at the Troy Palomalo School of Making Interceptions. Second down and four. Norwood has come in the game. And Ryan ad lips his way and goes deep. And the pass caught by Jason Rader. Touchdown. And now it's picked up, but the touchdown counts. As Rader broke the plane, lost the ball, and Ryan with another touchdown pass. Well. You can't be any more of a safety valve on this play than Raider was. I mean, this is a guy that has not caught a pass all year. But Matt Ryan sees the whole field. And when you give him time, he sees a guy with a black shirt down the field and it's one of his, he's going to find it. But they're trying to strip that ball out, and they almost get it out. And did they? Was that ball coming out before he crossed the goal line? And a challenge has been... After review, the runner lost control of the football at the one-yard line. It is a fumble. The ball was clearly recovered in the end zone by Tampa Bay. The ball, ball belongs to Tampa Bay. Touchback, first and ten at the 20-yard line. What Tampa a dramatic! Not charged with a timeout. What a dramatic turn of events on this ruling. Great challenge by John Gruden. Here comes Jermaine Phillips. That left, that right hand gets that ball moving out, and he pulls it. I don't know from that angle how you can rule that he wasn't across the goal line. From this angle here, oh, I don't know where you, you can stop it to see that he crossed that goal line or not. Philip Buchanan with the recovery in the end zone.